But our friends at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium say not so fast. There's still plenty to do, even in the rainy weather at the park. Mike Davis is with Susie Rapp, and boy, oh boy, they've got a feisty little friend there. We have one wambunctious wascal here today at noon. This is a clouded leopard named Saber. Yeah, and it's a good right? name for and, this guy, and, isn't and it? And I, I told Susie this might have been a good day to put long pants on because this thing was just eating her leg a yeah, minute ago. Uh, my arms. Took about um, out of my arm, and we're, we're, containment is certainly well, going to be is, an issue. Th and I've got these two decoy. And he's got my finger. There you go, bite. There you go, bite, bite them. <laughs> He is, this is the problem when you have a baby that was a single birth. Yes. Especially wow. a clotted leopard. And because they are so rambunctious at this yes. age. And you know what I like to say, at five months old, he's very comparable to what we would refer as the terrible twos. Ah, okay. So that's where we're at right now. And, so you and can this see. is another weapon. This tail, this is really something <laughs> well, that's... Well, it's his weapon. It's not really... They normally... You know, clouded leopards live in Southeast Asia okay. where in such forested areas that you and I wouldn't even be able to see them. And they live in these really dark forests up in the trees. And he uses that tail primarily for balance. Okay. So it's going to help him get through the trees. This is a solitary cat, Mike. So once they're adults, they're going to live by themselves. Mm -hmm. But when they're youngsters, there's typically anywhere from two to four cubs. How and big will he get? Because well, I'm looking at the about, size of those Well, feet. and you know, they don't get huge. They're no. really not a leopard. Um, it the you know, you have your greater roaring cats and your lesser mm -hmm. purring cats. This is the only cat that doesn't do either. It doesn't purr and it doesn't roar. She needs that arm. So they believe their closest relative <laughs> is actually the saber tooth tiger because this cat's only going to get about 65 mm -hmm. pounds. You've that's convinced me. That's because he's a male. A female's only reaching about 45 pounds, but his teeth are going to be this big. So you guys can imagine what's, come here, bud. Cat down. What's going in my arm as we're yeah. sitting here trying to do this. If you luckily stop feeding they're feeding him your arm, try to keep doing well, the cats. Luckily, they're baby teeth. Yeah, but when oh, they're, oh, when oh, his, I'm done, I'm finished. <laughs> but when they're, his teeth are full grown, they're going to be the same size as a lion, which is going to be several hundred pounds. Holy smokes. He's only going to be 65 pounds. Now, what we were talking about with this little wrestler while we were doing it is even when it's raining at the zoo, that doesn't mean you can't have a lot of fun. Absolutely. Plus, it helps to uh, minimize the crowds just it a little bit. It minimizes there we go. the crowds. The arm. And and Mike, we have Spurting. a lot of places to go to get out of the rain. So, dur especially on days like today when it oh, rains and it. stops, rains and stops. Oh, hello. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, when it oh, rains and stops. I can scream for real. So. <laughs> well, don't scream He's crazy. because you're Mike. He's crazy. Um, he is crazy. But it's just him. fun crazy. Yeah. And we also want to tell people we have dive in movies Friday night. So, nice. come on out, Zoom Busy right Bay. Now they're showing the Goonies. Yep, Goonies Friday night. Which is all good. And, and it is rainy out there, so we'll take a quick look at the seven day outlook rain today and tomorrow. Uh, flood watch in effect. We'll have complete coverage, of course, coming up tonight at five as well. Have a good day. Stay dry if you can.